I believe your week was wonderful. The Lord has been good to you. Yes, I know you had an awesome week. My name is Teacher Jackie. And my name is Teacher Sarah. And before we continue, we would like to pray. Yes, let us put our hands together, close our eyes, and let us pray. Our dear and everlasting Father, we want to thank you for the gift of life today. We thank you for your faithfulness, your goodness, and your mercy upon our lives. We welcome your presence in our show, and we pray that you're going to teach us your word, and you're going to bless us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Get ready, get ready, get ready for J.H. Connex. And number one, get your Bibles ready. Number two, get your drawing book ready. And number three, get your colors ready. And number four, enough space for you. And number, number five, five, let's dance. worship you. You are here, walking in this place. I worship you. I worship you. When they come, miracle water, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Touching every heart, I worship you, I worship you. You are here, healing every heart, I worship you, I worship you. When they come, miracle walker, from the speaker, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. I hope you enjoyed the worship because I did. It's now dancing time. Get up, get your dancing shoes and let's dance together.
mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Did you dance with us? Did you enjoy the worship? It is awesome. Did you dance for the Lord? I believe you did. And if you want to be part of the worship team, yes. kindly send us a text through our WhatsApp community number running down your screen. Oh, yeah. And now it is time for activity. Hello, boys and girls. So my name is Deborah, and guess what time it is? It's activity time. So with me today, I have teacher Anne and teacher Joanne. As you can see on our table here, we have 10 plastic cups, and each teacher gets five. And each teacher also has a balloon, which they have to blow and use the air inside the balloon to blow the plastic cups off the table. And whoever blows the fastest is our winner. So let's start in three, Two, one, go. So who do you think is the winner? Just comment down below and we'll get to see who the winner is. Announce the winner on our next activity. Bye. Psalm 55, 22, it says, Cast all your cares on the Lord, and He will sustain you, and He will never let the waters be shaken. Thank you. My name is Imano Lutoki, and I have a memory verse. Psalms chapter 55, verse 22. It says, Cast your cares on the Lord, and He will sustain you. He will never let the waters be shaken. Thank you. Psalms chapter 55. Verse 22, it says, Cast your cares on the Lord, and He will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. 25 22, Cast your cares on the Lord, and He sustain you. The righteous will never be shaken. My name is Tamara, and I'm doing a memory verse. Psalms chapter 55, verse 22, it says, Cast all your cares in the Lord, and He will sustain you. He will never let the wretches be shaken. Thank you. Did you enjoy the activity? Yeah. Did you have fun doing the activity? <laughs> I believe you did. And I see most of you could remember what we learned last time. That is great. Keep on. And now it's another wonderful moment. Are you ready? Oh, yes. Let us get settled down, get ready for a Bible story, and let us welcome Teacher, Teacher Anne. Hello, boys and girls. My name is Teacher Anne. I'll be taking you through the Bible lesson for today. And today, I came with a baby. I know you're wondering, the baby is coming to class? Yes, the baby is going to be part of our lesson. And if you're wondering how he's going to participate, just stay on, stay calm, and listen to the Bible story. I will place the baby down here. Okay, today's our Bible lesson is about godly wisdom brings us great blessing. Godly wisdom brings us great blessings. And our Bible reading is from the Word of God, which is the Bible from 1 Kings chapter 3. 1 Kings chapter 3. After King David died, his son Solomon became the king of Israel. And after some time, he went to Gibeon, which was the most high important place to do an offering to the Almighty God. When he was there, he offered a thousand animals unto God, and God was so pleased with him. On that night at Gibeon, while he slept, God appeared to him 
and appeared to him in a dream and he told him, tell me anything that you want me to do for you. Anything, I can do it for you. And Solomon said, you have showed kindness to my father and you have continued to show kindness to me. You have put his son into leadership. Now I am the king, but I am only a child. I don't know how to rule. So I pray that you give me wisdom, a discerning heart, so that I know how to lead these great people that you have chosen. And God answered him. You have not asked for wealth. You have not asked for long life. You have not asked even for your enemies to die. You have asked for wisdom. So I will give you wisdom such that there is no one who ever has had that kind of wisdom and will never be anybody after you. So, and on top of that, I will give you honor and great wealth. And if you walk in my ways and remain true like your father did, I will bless you with long life. That was great. And Solomon was happy. And when he went back uh, to Jerusalem, he offered another sacrifice. Then a few days later, two women came to him. And each one of them was claiming that a baby that was alive was their own. So the first woman told this King Solomon, the two of us live in the same house. I gave, I got a baby boy, and three days later, this other woman got a baby boy, but she slept on her baby, and at night when I was sleeping, she came and exchanged the baby. She took my baby who was alive and she placed a baby who was dead uh, uh, next to me. And at that point, the other woman said, no, the baby who is alive is mine. The one who is dead is yours. And the other, the first lady said, no, the one who is alive is mine. The one who is dead is yours. And then the king said, each one of you saying, the one who is alive is mine. The one who is dead is yours. So who is telling the truth? So at that point, the king thought, <laughs> remember he had asked God for wisdom. And he said, bring me the sword. And he caught the sword and he said, cut the baby. This the baby was alive. Cut the baby into two so that each one of you will take a half and the other one will take a half. So at that point, before the baby was cut, the first woman pleaded the king and said, oh, king, please don't cut the baby. Don't cut the baby. Let her take the baby. And the other woman said, no, just cut the baby into half. She'll take a half, I'll take a half. None of us will go with the baby. And at that point, King Solomon knew who was the rightful owner of the baby who was alive. And he gave the baby to the woman who was the real mother of the baby. Everybody who was in the court was, wow, was amazed. Everybody was surprised. What great wisdom that was. Yes, and that is the end of the Bible story. So children, what do we learn from this Bible story? One, King Solomon asked God for wisdom. And God gave him godly wisdom. 
we have two types of wisdom, the godly wisdom and the earthly wisdom. So King Solomon asked for godly wisdom, and God gave him wisdom. So even for us children, we can ask God for wisdom, and he will give us, because he gives wisdom to those who ask. So the other lesson that we learn is that uh, King, Dave, King Solomon, after asking God for wisdom, he was able to make the right decision. That's why he was able to discern who was the right mother and the one who was not telling the truth. And after that, God gave him uh, wisdom, gave him wealth, gave him long life and honor. And he, God promised that he will, there will be nobody else will have such great honor like him. And that's exactly what happened. So what we find is that uh, when we have godly wisdom, we will attract great blessings. Godly wisdom brings to us great blessings. Okay, children? So can I repeat the two lessons that we carry home? One, when we ask God for wisdom, he will give us the wisdom. Two, godly wisdom brings us great blessing. And then, today we ask ourselves, in which areas of our lives can we ask God for wisdom so that we can be able to bring many people to God, many people to know Jesus? Just ask yourself, in which area of your life. Do you need God to give you wisdom so that you can bring people to God and let them know about Jesus? You think about it, pray about it, and when you ask God, you'll be able to give you wisdom. And you'll be able to do the right thing because godly wisdom helps us to make the right decisions. And that brings us to the end of our lesson Today, have you enjoyed the lesson? Yes, I believe you did, and you have something to carry home. And now on our assignment for today, remember, teacher told you to get your crayons and a drawing book. Draw King Solomon and the baby that we have here and the swan that was brought to the king to cut the baby. And you can put down there the two women before the king. And until next time, bye. Wow, that was a very powerful Bible lesson about wisdom. And you know what, children? We can ask God for godly wisdom, and he's going to guide us. Oh, yes. Yes, just like King Solomon had wisdom. Mm -hmm. And now it is time to hide the word of God in our hearts. Yes, time for our memory verse. And our memory verse comes from the books of Proverbs, chapter 9 and verse 2. 10. Proverbs chapter 9 and verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Awesome! Wow, that was powerful. It is good to hide the word of God in our hearts. And now we want to appreciate every person who has been sending us their videos. And we encourage you to continue sending us your videos doing the memory verse. I hope you have enjoyed our show today. Oh yeah, and before we go, we would like to close with a word of Prayer. Yes, we want to talk to Jesus. Put your hands together and let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you. We want to bless you. 
this afternoon, we want to ask that Jehovah God, you are going to give us your wisdom, almighty God. Just as King Solomon had a lot of wisdom, oh God, we are asking for wisdom so that we can be making wise decisions, so that we can be able, Jehovah God, to design things in our lives. We thank you and we bless you and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Until next time. Bye.